What's going on? We're on to side two. Paul Simon. There goes Rhyme and Simon. This is American Tune. Third single. Song, A Meditation on the American Experience, is based on the mel melody of the hymn, O Sacred Head Now Wounded, and bears a striking resemblance to J.S. Bach's Erkin Mick Mine Hooter. Yep, sorry. Song, re okay. Um, in an interview with Tom Moon in 2011, Paul Simon was asked about political references in his songs, and he said, I don't write overtly political songs, although American Tune comes pretty close, as it was written just after Nixon was elected. Okay. Billboard described it as a discourse on inner security while being far from home. Cashbox called it a gorgeous, haunting, highly lyrical track. Oh boy, I'm not going to get it then. <laughs> and said that the soft vocal performance, which I would say is throughout all of this, and it's kind of Paul Simon's style a bit, right? Like soft, you know, like he's... Like I said, he's not in a previous video. He's not like some overly powerful vocalist. He's kind of low, but mix-wise, he's still super out front. Uh, soft vocal performance is heightened by sweet string section. Record World said that it should touch the hearts and ears of many Americans with a beautiful melody wrapped around meaningful lyrics, which I'm not going to get. <laughs> Ranked number 262 on Rolling Stone's list of 500 greatest songs of all time. Wow. Years after the song's release, LA Times wrote, it does not ring with the loud anger that runs through our time. It is mournful as an unspooling in the candlelight of a day's end and praised the song for its tender, timeless nature, noting it as a visceral reminder of our history. Okay. Oh, a lot of people have covered this. Wow. Kurt Alling, Dave Matthews. Wow, a lot of people. Have I heard this? I'm like, have I heard this song? This many people covered it? song has been featured in uh, The Wonder Years, used as the opening and closing to Ken Burns' The Statue of Liberty. Wow. Okay, well, I mean, we'll see if I've heard it before. I don't know that I have. I don't know that I have. That one doesn't ring a bell at all. So, we'll see. All right, here it is, Paul Simon, American Tune. Bam. Many's the time I've been mistaken And many times confused Yes, and I've often felt forsaken And certainly misused Oh, but I'm alright, I'm alright Just weary Expect to be bright and born vivant so far away from home, so far away from home. I don't know a soul who's not been battered. I don't have a friend who feels that kick is at ease. something else. Don't know what you mean, that's not it's like over here and it's like a or driven to its knees it's almost like a pitter patter oh but it's all right it's all right it's For interesting it's that so like the hi hat and the snare is so, so small right. over here and the kick is over here Tom's over here too when I think of the road we traveling on What's gone wrong? I can't help it, I wonder what's gone wrong. And I dreamed I was dying. I dreamed that my soul rose unexpectedly. You mm. looking back down at me, smiled reassuringly. And I dreamed I was flying And high up above My eyes could clearly see The Statue of Liberty Sailing away to sea And I dreamed I was flying For we come on the ship they call the Mayflower 
come on the ship that sails the moon We're coming the ages most uncertain hours And sing an American tune Oh, and it's alright It's alright, it's alright You can't be for it Tomorrow's gonna be another working day And I'm trying to get some rest That's all I'm trying to get some rest Yeah, that's nice. Dig it. I didn't get that it was like specifically overtly political or anything like that. I mean, you know, as much as I heard the lyrics, you know, I mean, you know, I didn't catch everything. But, you know, I heard some Statue of Liberty and Mayflower and stuff like that. <laughs> let me let me look at look this up. <laughs> well, Simon American tune. It sounds nice. Yeah, and you know, like the, the I brought up the drums because it was just just when the kick came in, it was so apparent to me. I was like, "Wow, that's the kick!" It's like that's like not you know, I'm playing at a rock band right now, so, <laughs> so it's like so different. <laughs> I mean, I've played all kinds of music and all kinds of different ensembles and bands and things like that, but you know, and I listen to every you know I listen to everything, but it was so tiny. Right, it was so tiny. The drums were just tiny, but it's because they had to make room for that big string section. That was like the dramatic piece, right? That and also his vocal, which is again just front and center, just front and center. He's like whispering in your ear because he's got this little voice. He's not like he doesn't belt. He's not like none of that stuff. He's just in your ear, right? You can hear everything. Yeah, and it's like it is. It's like a very sweet type of singing style right sweet type of singing voice okay where come on where's the lyrics for this many's the time I've been mistaken many times confused yes and I've often felt forsaken and certainly misused oh but I'm all right I'm all right I'm just weary to my bones still you don't expect to be bright and bon vivant so far away from home, so far away from home. I don't know a soul who's not been battered. I don't know a friend who feels at ease. I don't know a dream that's not been shattered or driven to its knees. Oh, but it's all right, it's all right, for lived so well, so long. Still, when I think of the road we're traveling on, I wonder what went wrong. Bro, how about 50 years later? <laughs> how about we talk about now? <laughs> all right, okay, 1973, you should have been counting your blessings. Come on. All right, anyway, sorry. <laughs> uh, maybe we should be counting our blessings right now. Right? There there we go. Um, I can't help it. I wonder what's gone wrong. And I dreamed I was dying, and I dreamed, right, this is where, like, the big, right, it got bigger here, the strings came in. And I dreamed I was dying. I dreamed that my soul rose unexpectedly, and looking back down at me, smiled reassuringly. And I dreamed I was flying. And high above my eyes could clearly see the Statue of Liberty sailing away to sea. And I dreamed I was flying. Oh, we come on the ship they call the Mayflower. We come on the ship that sailed the moon. We come in the ages most uncertain hour and sing an American tune. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. You can't be forever blessed. Still, tomorrow is going to be another working day. And I'm trying to get some rest. That's all I'm trying to get some rest. I mean, Paul Simon is a lyricist. <laughs> Right. So I'm not going to say that anything, you know, like he's obviously very good. Right. Paul Simon is obviously very good. Yeah. This guy is like a songwriter. Right. He is a songwriter. He's got his style. He's got his thing. You know, it's a craft for him. And that's why, you know, going back to tenderness um, and even something so right. Songwriting being a craft how do you learn songwriting? First of all, you listen to great songs, but also you transcribe the songs, right? 
if you like a song, if you think the tenderness is an incredible song, it's just a really nice song. This is one of the reasons why I have a hot songs list, right? Is because if I think it's just that wonderful, I want to throw all the wonderful things that I like about music, all the all the tracks that I find wonderful and put them all in the same place, right? So that then I can put it on and be like, this is all so wonderful, just constantly. It's like a constant barrage of things that I love, right? That sound to me, right? The things that hit me that I'm like, wow, this is awesome. And then you transcribe them. What does transcribe mean? That means I literally take pen and pay. I mean, it could be two of one of two things. It's like, okay, I learned how to play it, right? That could be transcribing it. Or I literally, more so what I mean is literally take a pencil and manuscript paper and write it out. What that, what the changes are whatever I'm looking to write out, whether it's the song, the changes and the form, right? Which in this case would be that kind of thing. Maybe the melody also that would help in terms of looking at the melody harmony relationship. That would be nice because if there's certain things, certain cadences, certain, you know, I really like how it goes from this change to this change, but then he hits this note. What is that interval? Things like that. This is all, interval is the distance between two notes, right? So just those kinds of things. That's dissecting music and finding what your taste is, really. That's how you would do it. That's, I've done all that. <laughs> and that's how I would do it, you know, if I were to continue to do all this kind of thing. I haven't transcribed in, a, in that way in a long, in a while, actually, but I used to do it like a mad person because I was trying to get good at music <laughs> and trying to understand, you know, and that's how, to me, you do it, is you transcribe. You transcribe, you transcribe. I used to transcribe solos. You want to learn how to solo, you transcribe solos. You take pencil to manuscript and you write out, you literally write it out. You rewind it, you rewind it, you do whatever. You, you take one of those slow down machines, you do whatever, you go on the YouTube video and you half the speed on it and you just do it until you have it, right? I have binders back here full of my transcribed solos and bass lines and songs, different songs that I like, because that's how you get it. That's how you then see it, like, because you can hear it, but then seeing it is a different thing, right? Someone can read you a story and you listen to it, or you can read the story yourself. It's going to be just two different ways of absorbing it and ingesting it. So. Anyways, this is a nice song. It's nice. It's definitely nice. For sure. Like it. Cool. All right. Up next, Was a Sunny Day. There it is. I'll catch you then. Later.